one of the most common questions I used to get in QGIS was, how do I compute neighbors? How do I get a list of neighbors? I have a zip code layer. I want the neighboring zip codes for each polygon. I have layer of states. I want to know all the neighbors of a state. I have a farm polygon, so I want to know the neighbors for each farm. And that required me to write like a 200 lines of Python script to be able to do this. Because QGIS didn't have any tool to say, how can I take a layer and compute something against the, all the features of the same layer? So we can actually use aggregate expressions with the same feature and compute neighborhood. For demonstration, I want to take this example. This is the map of the states of US. We have a short code of all the states, Wisconsin, WIS for Wisconsin, Illinois, California, and so on. What I want to do is I want to know for each state, what is the neighbors? Who are the neighbors of each state? And that means I need to take each state and compare this against all the features, all the states, and say which ones are touching each other, and that's what would be my neighbor. And this kind of analysis now we can do with a single aggregate expression. Let's see how to do this. Again, you can turn aggregate expression wherever you see an expression button here. So we're going to use, we have the states layer, we have some attributes here, we have this STUSPS, which contains a short code. I'm going to add one more attribute with the list of neighbors for all of this each state. So I'm going to use field calculated. We're going to add a new field called neighbors. We can create a comma separated string as we did. Or if you are creating a temporary layer in QGIS, you have this options. List of strings, list of integers, list of doubles. Super helpful. This only works with for the layers in QGIS. Most formats like shapefile, geo package do not have a type of list. But if you're just within QGIS, this can actually store a list inside a field. So let's just use this since we are creating a temporary layer. So we have this neighbor's states layer. I want to write an aggregate function. I want for each state, all the neighbors. What's the third layer that we want to look at? Well, I have states layer for each feature. Look at all the features from the same layer. So I can just give the same layer as the input. And if I don't want to write the name, Maybe the name is very complex. I can just say at layer. At layer means the same layer. At layer is a variable referring to the current layer. Aggregate, what aggregate we want. Since we want a list, we can use this aggregate called array ag, which just gives you a list. Next expression, what we want list of. Well, we just want a list of this value from this field stusds which is just a list of, this is a short code for the state. Filter, which features you want from this layer? Well, we can do intersection, but we, if your layer is topologically correct, we can just use this touches. So we'll say touches, geometry, with geometry of filter. That means if the current features geometry touches that feature, you can use this. And you can see a preview here that for this state, Alabama, these are the four neighbors. Okay, let's run this. You can see this takes two seconds to come give me the list of all the neighbors. And let's open the attribute table. And now you have for each state, we have a list of the neighbors. So for example, if we go to say, who are the neighbors of California? And we'll say Nevada, Arizona, and Oregon. Right? We'll just find those values. And this type of analysis is really difficult to do. You need to write some custom code. But now if you know aggregate expression, you'll be able to do this neighbor analysis quite easily.